Hey, welcome back to Skarner Exotics, and today we're going to be talking about Chilobrachus wahini husbandry and care. So, you've got yourself a Chilobrachus wahini, and you're thinking, how do I pronounce that word? And you know what? The internet has not helped me at all. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. So until somebody proves me otherwise, I'm putting forward through an educated path that it is Wahini, as in Wahini. The Asian fawn tarantula is described as an opportunistic burrower. And while I was adamant they were fossorial, like my other kilos, these ones have only partially dug to create more of a divot than a burrow, of which they are passionately defensive of. This behaviour is indicative of old world tarantulas. Hailing from Thailand, Wahinis have no great bursts of irritable urticating hairs like their New World counterparts, but rely more on speed and defensive venom to keep threats at bay. Translation they're not considered as a beginner species by any means. While I've been very lucky not to experience the incredible speed of a defensive fawn, I have witnessed the rare event where one leaves the protective walls of their burrows, and that is when their intense feeding response is triggered by an unsuspecting six legs tiptoeing carefully around the carpet, intricately woven of trip wires, lame and updated constantly by these fast-growing heavy webbers. The two that I care for are both adult females, of whom are displaying a beautiful orange-brown tan, or fawn, as the name suggests. Along with the colours, we can expect them to live 11 to 12 years, unlike their dimorphic male partners, who show more grey shades and are visually more leggy, who only live to a total of 2 to 4 years. They're not small either, with an average 14 to 15 centimetre leg span. These goliaths of their realm can fell a fully grown, heavily armoured hissing cockroach with ease. Bake in a preheated environment at 26 to 28 degrees Celsius in the summer and a cooler 20 to 25 degrees in the colds of winter, all the while remembering to drop the heat at night. Wish them a good sleep. Sweet dreams. I love you. And keep them at a comfortable 70 to 80 humidity. All of this will keep your Wahini Hua happy. And that's all we have time for. So if you love what you've seen, smash the like button down below. Comment how you say Huahini. <laughs> Subscribe if it's helped. We have a Patreon as well that's still learning what it is. So if you want your say on what the channel does or just silently support from the background, links down in the description. And until next time, spread love. Get your breakfast Huahini love.